a beautiful Friday. Peace and blessings coming from the town. I want to show you, you, you might see a lot of fog around me. Look at this. It's foggy as hell. Hell of fog. It's foggy as hell, man. That's that, you know, you can't miss, you can't, you can't play with that fog. R.P. Kobe. No, you gotta, you gotta land, man. Get out the sky. That fog ain't no joke. You run into, how you gonna, how you gonna fly somewhere you can't see? God is good. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. I ask God to bless everybody out there. Have a blessed day today. You know, we're going to the weekend. I'm going to a party tomorrow with my best friend party. It's been my best friend since the second grade. We um we was on the basketball court. And we you know we was youngsters, we had the big red ball. <laughs> and we were throwing that ball up trying to make the ball basket. And we've been balling ever since, man. You know what I'm saying? Came through the the 70s playing with the girls. I remember the pretty girl. I remember, ooh, we was bad kids. We was trying to hump on the girls when we was little. And um, we all grew up, been through a lot. Old days of 96, 96 and Sunnyside, 96 and Olive, 23rd, 25th. You know, there was some special times back in the 70s and 80s when you, uh, we had our grandparents around and aunties before the crack um, destroyed our communities we seen it coming we seen it coming baby boy um, I remember you know we had friends I remember friends when, when they, they mommies, I mean, when they mommies used to drop them off at school, they'd be crying. I walked to school. I was walking to school in elementary. I was walking to school from 109th to, to E. Morris Cox, which is on 98th. And you got to walk down, walk down Bancroft. And I was in the third grade. You can't send a kid to walk to school nowadays in the third grade. My son is in the second grade. He's not walking to school, and he don't even live in Oakland. His ass just not responsible enough. <laughs> I was, I had to get, I knew I had to get to class, or that was gonna be my ass, you know? And my mama didn't play. Nowadays, you can't whip the kids, you know? I, I, I'm appreciative of the whoopings I got because I deserved them. I was terrible. We almost burnt the building down trying to barbecue bologna on a plastic milk crate. We went to go get some bologna and get some of the hay off that tree. And of course the fire got un, out of hand. We was about, it was about 1976. So we ran away when the fire got under the hand. Just hope nobody seen us do it. <laughs> Boy, we heard the fire department, all that. <clears throat> fire department, me and my cousin Jimmy Brown. Rest in peace, Jim. Jimmy, James Henry Brown. He died on the um, Cypress earthquake. Died on the, um, on the Cypress freeway on the way to um, the World Series. One of my favorite cousins, my baby boy. Rest in peace. But we burnt that damn tree down and almost burnt the building down. So we ran away. Then when it got dark, we didn't know what to do. Because we was out in the wilderness. <laughs> I think it, I was about six or seven. And um, when we had to go back home, they had the water ran for us for the bathtub. And just tied up extension cords. Extension cords. Woo! Y'all don't know nothing about that. And they whooped us like runaway slaves. Tore our asses up. That's what we deserved, though. We, we didn't do that no more. 
And, and now I look back at this 51 year old mine. I was a silly ass seven year old, <laughs> 13 year old, 15 year old, 21 year old. So you gotta readjust, man. If you made some decisions when you were a kid that you're planning on living by, you might want to readjust those decisions with your current mind state and um, experience. Because I'm going to tell you, seven-year-olds and 15-year-olds, they don't know nothing. They ain't lived long enough. So, so treat yourself. Don't defeat yourself. You know? Yeah, we are we our biggest enemy, man. I, I'm trying to get a lot of people get a lot of these homeless people I, I seen I went to uh, I was doing DoorDash last night and there was a girl in her Mustangs the window broke out I know what it was it's domestic violence her dude was laying on her lap he must have been high but um they, they sitting there it's, it's, it's 8 o'clock at night and they just sitting in that parking lot and it looked like they're living in their car so I, I rolled my window down I'm like hey man I got some services for you guys, if you need some help getting housed or getting into some shelter or whatever problems you might be going through, I, I can help you. So I gave them the address, told them to come down, and I do that every day. When I see folks, and even my friends, I try to reach out to them and help them. I want to drop one of my partners $5 for gas, I mean for um, bus fare to get to this his appointment. We can get SSI. He didn't show up. Um, I'm gonna see if these people show up. You know, we reach out. We reach out our hands to our folks. You can't help nobody unless they want to help themselves. That's why Allah says He don't change the situation for a person until they change themselves. You know. So I'm 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 trying, but it's it's trying to helping the people. You know, it's hard. Um, I want to do it, but you have to want to do it. So that's why a lot of people out here are still laying on the ground. It's services. It's very, you know, it's not a lot. It's services to stand you up and be aware, but wake you up. Them services stand you up. Okay, you got a little place to stay now. Take a shower. You got a little order. You got some shelter and a little temporary housing. Um, it ain't even got these tough sheds. Okay, get your stuff in order. Now, go get a job. Come back and, uh, let, and um, get you some rest. Fresh it back up and go back out there to work. Stack up you some money. Buy you a car. You might need it. If you get your license, um, it's because you got to do extra hustles because you, you, you late. You know, you're a late bloomer. You're starting late, so you gotta you gotta work extra. Get your body together, cause you're gonna be tired. If you don't get your body together, you're gonna get sick. Um, let go of the drugs. Stop smoking so much weeds. Let go of the drugs. Stop drinking. Program yourself to get your ass up and go to work. They can't do that. A lot of people can't do that, so they they fall out. You know. They fall on the ground, man, and go back, relapse, and then it's not a lot, you know, some people don't have support. It's, you know, I can't say it's not a lot of anything, because certain people get certain things, you know. Certain people get certain, um, um, get a certain kind of love because of what they've done, um, and, and the atmosphere they built around themselves, or the support systems might be a little stronger in, 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 some, in some points. Some people, you know, you might, might have families with a lot more resources, but a lot of people don't have it, you know. So, um, yeah, you got to be strong. You got to be strong. You got to ha you, you have to want something, you know. Some people just give up. I don't know what it is, but I want to help. Because I know it's hard. And I went through some stuff when I was young. And, you know, 
I was, shit, I was getting high when I was 14, 15 years old. And, um, drunk and running away. That's why I say I was terrible, you know? And I, I left home when I was 15, never looked back. Been on my own ever since in the streets. And thank God I'm still able, to, I still got this uh, clear mindset and I'm able to function um, highly, you know, and handle my business, you know. So, yeah, you got you can't give up on the people. Just like the um, the guys going to prison to turn their lives around. Who are we to say that they didn't have it? That, that they can't do it? It can be done. I, it happened to me. So, you know, we also got to give people second chances. I, I got to do that too. Sometimes I'll be like, man, to hell with that son of a gun. <laughs> because some people be with the shenanigans. And even if they stand up right, they still got that criminal crook for dangling mentality. So if they don't clean their spirit up, they clean their body up and stand up right and they don't clean their spirit up, they still gonna use that good the wrong way. Yeah. But yeah, man, my, my partner birthday party tomorrow, we've been we've been rocking since the old school. I remember we went to the festival. Oh shit. My bad, my bad. Sorry about that. We went, I remember we went to the festival at the lake and um um I almost hit them people. We went to the festival at the lake and the first day we went, my folks had a, a green, candy green Mustang to clean the motherfuckers, Zenith and Foles. We rode, we rode all the way to Campbell to where they make the Zenith and Foles. Campbell and past San Jose. We in the Bay Area, so that's that's not too far. But we rode to Campbell, get the Zenith and Foles, put the Ruben Dan's, Yarbro, Miko Paint, them old school Oakland classic thing right there. And, um, you know, the Zapco board, the knock, and we went to the, we went to that, the green, the stain, and, um, on the first day, then he had a stepside truck, Candy Burgundy, with, um, with Zenith and Foles on that one too, the big stepside. When it was new back then, brand new. And then on the next day, we went there. Not, needless to say, we had all the hoes. I'm gonna get out this old school hood right here. I'll show y'all. My little cousin still out here doing it. What's up with it? What's up, OG? Yeah, you see the hood, you see those apartments right there? That's New Jack City right there. <laughs> remember, remember? Hey, OG, what's up with you? God bless you, man, one love. We starting a day off. I'm gonna see my little cousin right there. That's the bird. That's the OG, OG. Y'all on World Wide Web. Bird, what you doing, you good? You talk to your brother? Yeah, you have to leave me at the house, sleep. Okay, I'm gonna go see him. I ain't, shit, I get off at about 9.30. By that time from from um, this time to 9, 30 night, I be tired than a motherfucker. You know, I, I can't, it take me five minutes to get out the car. <laughs> I'll see y'all later on. All right. Yeah, man. We pull up through the hood where it's all good. That's where I grew up at. You know, we did a lot of good stuff, a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> it was good to me. We did a lot of stuff around here. But as you see, I done made it through this. I'm telling you, this place right here used to be a um, used to be a wooden gate. Now you see that gate? They had to open that sucker up because behind that gate it was like a fort. And um, it went down up in there. Bags and bags and pockets and money in your pockets and bags and all the shit. Oh, you know. So this is the hood, man. 
stop at the car wash right fast. You see that sign up there? It's the, it's the doves. What's up? Who is that? I know you. What's up? You all right? Yeah, I'm Are you looking fat? <laughs> she was gazing away, smoking that crack. Smoking that crack, now she's looking fat. It's twumps, man. Dubs. <laughs> Early morning shift. What you doing, brother? Is everything all right? I see y'all. Yeah, I love the hood, man. I can't. I don't never want to leave. It's our living room. If you can't go to the hood that you grew up with in, you did something wrong. You know, I got. And fortunately, we all grew up together, so some good people out here, man. You know, they, for for people to still have good relationships, you know, it, it, they were some up and up law and order. You know. Niggas act like they ain't gonna listen, and um, they they don't come around no more. They're the ones who went afoul of the law, and then then kill people, family members, and all that shit. And uh, all, you know how these hoods go. A girl um, inboxed me the other day, um, talking about um, yeah, they they carry a lot of guns. They 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 be strapped in Atlanta, Georgia. And, Chicago and all that stuff. Well, you know, they be strapped out here too, just like that. But it's a, you know, it, it, it's a certain kind of, it's a, it's a certain level of law. I'm talking about from the community, from the hood. The hood got laws, you know? And if you run afoul of the law, you're going to X yourself out. Ain't nobody even got to do nothing to you. You're going to run into a brick wall. And then somebody will do something to you too. Get you out the way. So fortunately I, I haven't lived my life like that, you know. All the battles I've been in have been righteous, you know. Even if they wasn't right, they was right. Even if I wasn't right, I was right. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I make sure that it, it, am I am I on the right side of history? If you are, then if you justify, then that's what it is. You read between the lines. Yeah, man, but yeah, we come a long way. You know, we're gonna celebrate this 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 weekend. Fifty one years. You know, so me and T been friends for damn forty seven years. Forty seven years. Only good folks have shit like that. Friendships for 47 years. If you if you ain't got one of them, I'm talking not your family members, just people. And not only T, all, all the youngsters, all the people I went to school with, we still cool. You know? Ain't no gang banging, no falling out. Folks that went through the drug years and turned their lives around and got their shit together. Own businesses. Stupid. But she want him to go 70 in the 25 mile hour a mile dumbass. Driving that slow, raggedy motherfucker hella fast like that on the resident making all that noise. I hate that shit. Yeah, man. This is the early morning ride to work. Got to get my mind together, clear my mind. And I hit my little pipe. Y'all don't know nothing about this. Y'all smoke them blunts and them blanks. That's all I do. I'm going to roll up my window. And don't tell nobody. Don't tell my business. That's that. 
y'all don't got none of that. Y'all don't know what that is. That's that East Oakland Gorilla Glue. No, this is um, this is cookies right here. I be driving with my knee, almost wrecking and shit. This is cookies, so I put a a big ass bud, put a big bud in the pipe, and. You hit that motherfucker, put it down. And go ahead and your minute. So yeah. This is a beautiful Friday. We gonna make it happen. Stay up. I'm on my way in. I hope you guys having a blessed life. Everything's coming to you. I'm gonna show you coming down to the Lake Merritt. The, the historical Lake Merritt. This is where the festival went down. That needs to be going down, baby. I'm going to tell you, look at that beautiful lake. It's a man made lake. It's, you know. Look at the Chinese lady. Go ahead, lady. <laughs> look at that lake. This is early morning commuters. So, yeah, y'all. Y'all be good, be easy, don't be greasy, and um, lighten up. Get your shit together. You know, really, man, black people need to get their shit together so we can have um, strong communities. That's all I want, strong communities so our kids can grow up, because I'm not selfish. I know it's going to be a people coming after me. Just like the slaves and, and Martin them in and, and, and the 1800s and the 1700s and all the blacks that um, suffered for us knew there was going to be some people coming after them. And they wanted to, they, they thought about those people. They were compassionate and had a godly heart and said, we got to make, it, make things better for them. And a lot of them fought back and that's why we're in a position right now living in it it actually is a great country but we can make it only thing that's going to make this country at the greatest and reach this um pinnacle is if us black people stood up and, and led this motherfucker because the whites is too poisoned with ignorance and racism to um give everybody the liberties and the freedoms that they deserve and the civil rights you know so we're gonna have to Beast up and take over. Y'all be safe, man. Have a happy um, Friday, happy weekend, and, and um, take care of yourselves.